Right now, only on WHAS 11 News at 6. Uh, you might have seen signs like this up around the area right there that say patients can get legal me medical marijuana cards by calling the number on the sign. Well, the Kentucky Cannabis Clinic has opened up shop in the highlands of Louisville. Patients are charged nearly $150 an appointment for a medical marijuana certification. But are the promises being made misleading? Our senior reporter, Isaiah Kim Martinez, called this number as authorities are raising questions. The gate to 965 Baxter Avenue opens right up. The front door, not as simple. It says after 9 a.m. ring doorbell for entry. From what I can see, doesn't seem to be working. So we call. It doesn't look like anybody is inside or I don't know what the, the situation is. The storefront of the Kentucky Cannabis Clinic in Louisville is essentially empty. These doctors are licensed in Kentucky but based in Missouri. A company representative telling us their two doctors operate through telehealth. You know, some of the folks that we've talked to really feel confused. They'll call us after the fact and they've been like, oh heck, if I've known all this, I wouldn't have spent that money. $149 for what the clinic calls a medical marijuana certificate or card approved through video chat. The website reading get legal in three simple steps, citing Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir's executive order signed in November of 2022. It's concerning because if you're advertising a card, there is no card. Get legal. That's not a thing right now. Right. The executive order opened the door for patients with any of 21 medical conditions to purchase a certain amount of marijuana legally out of state and bring it back into Kentucky. I felt like we would finally caught up to the rest of the country. The key, though, the order only works as a pardon. Translation, people would be forgiven if arrested on a possession charge. But technically, until 2025, when the state's medical cannabis program is set to launch, no document keeps you immune from legal fees or even jail time. The way the executive order is written is it says that the patient and the physician have to have a bona fide relationship. Yes. Do you feel like you got that? Um, I, I don't feel like I have that. You need to uh, have uh, seen the doctor more than once. Even if it's virtually, even if it's virtually, yes. Months ago, our John Charlton sat down with a patient identity concealed. I'm an avid hiker and I injured my knee um, years ago who got his diagnosis through the Kentucky Cannabis Clinic. I met on telehealth with a doctor. That patient has since raised concerns. I don't uh, believe that uh, it would stand a legal test. It, it doesn't look official. Why, why doesn't this look official to you? Um, just the, it looks like somebody just used an Excel sheet to uh, fill it out. The advertising has become more obvious. Signs like the one shown in this photo, captured by WHAS 11, seen promoting medical marijuana cards and a phone number on 28th and Broadway. I do think there are some people out trying to capitalize on people like myself who are uh, you know, respectful of the laws of the Commonwealth. You can get just a letter of diagnosis from your doctor and that works the same. You really shouldn't have to pay for one of these things. Matthew Bratcher is the executive director of Kentucky Normal, a group advocating for medical marijuana reform in the state. Like if you're sick and you've got this, one of these qualifying conditions, all you need is your doctor to be like, yes, you have this. Not to be like, my patient can get cannabis. It's, that's not what that's about. It's whether or not you you fit. In essence, he's saying the letters the clinic is providing aren't special. Their doctors are not uniquely qualified. A lot of people think they're becoming legal. And it's like you said, it's like there's there's that still illegality there. Like cannabis is still illegal for possession. Uh, is your administration going to be looking into these clinics, this company specifically? Yeah, we need to. It's important, especially early on uh, when these things come about, if if they're not legal, that you make a statement. And it's important if they're not to get them shut down early and not let it continue. And we reached out to the Kentucky Cannabis Clinic directly by email asking for comment on how they operate here. We got some more information if we want to keep rolling. We didn't get a response. We also asked Kentucky Attorney General Russell Coleman's office if they're investigating the company. They wouldn't confirm. But in a statement, here's what they said. Quote, we know there are bad actors eager to take advantage of well-meaning Kentuckians in this new sector, 
and we encourage anyone who suspects potential scams or fraud to contact our office right away for help. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side. Thanks, Isaiah. And the Better Business Bureau says its lead investigator tried to contact the business to learn more about what they do and never got a response. They also point out the company has modified some of the language on their website since that inquiry.